everyone welcome back to cyber security tv uh, this week we're gonna talk about what is the server side request forgery and how do you exploit it so we're gonna see the demonstration on on one of the application uh, with the different payloads in one of the previous video we have talked in depth about what is the csrf how do you uh, like you know how do you exploit it how do you mitigate it if you haven't checked that already please do check it out i have put the link in the description uh, in this video, I'm just going to keep it very brief. So when the attacker finds some injection vulnerability in one of the application, it exploits this SSRF by accessing one of the protected resources, which is not directly accessible by the attacker. So this is what the typical SSRF is. As, as I said, like I have done the previous in-depth video previously. So if you are still not clear, do check it out. So when you uh, find the SSRF vulnerability, uh, there are different payloads or different things you can exploit right one is you can uh, like you know try to exploit the local host because the local host might have some uh, interesting information uh, such as like you know a password uh, for the users uh, so you can you can uh, explore that you can also say like you know one of the instance name or like the site name which is uh, internal and only can be accessible by the application which is hosted so you can access that because otherwise other in, in like if you don't have access to the vpn you might not have access to the site already but using the vulnerable application you might get access to it uh, you can do the port exploration so you can try different ports and see uh, you can launch like the port uh, port attacks cross site port, port attacks using the vulnerable applications you can so as you can see uh, this is our intentional vulnerable application and uh, this is this is the one where it says like you can enter an image URL from the remote web server or internet and when you hit the submit button it's going to load the what I'm gonna do is uh, let's try to like you know copy this image and paste it here so now it's supposed to like you know store the image and, and render it here for some reason it's not rendering but that's that's not a concern uh, what we need to find out is whether we uh, put some information here and can we get so we can do a couple of things one we can leverage this uh, functionality to see if the remote server such as this for example let's say right has some port open so we can do like a port scanning and as you can see this is still loading that means it's doing some sort of like port scanning or at least trying to reach to the 22 whether it succeeds or not we'll find out when the load is com like when when the page load is complete but although as you can see uh, it's doing some interaction with the remote server and that's a uh, that's a cool thing because you can use the system so when when you have seen like you know distributed denial of service attack when the attacker tries to uh, use like you know various victim and launch the DOS attack using that particular vulnerable systems so here exactly that that's something we can do we can use this system like uh, this one 192168 uh, 138 and 128 so we can use this server to launch attacks on this oasp.org and the oasp.org will think the attack is actually coming from this server rather than my system or my ISP right now of course it couldn't connect but uh, as you can see it took it took a while so let's actually look into the code what it is going on and, and what can we do with this uh, actually that will give us better idea on what is the actual vulnerability uh, for that uh, let's look at the code of this file first and uh, let's scroll down and get to the logic all right so the first uh, if condition it's checking whether there is the image URL or not then the second line it seems like it's extracting the file contents from this uh, posted URL and storing into the remote content variable then it is doing the file name images and okay randomizing the name of the image that received and put it in the file name variable and then finally put the contents to the uh, folder and finally putting the file contents in the folder uh, uh, with the remote content that was received and finally echoing the URL uh, which was like you know received from the user okay so that looks straightforward so uh, perhaps the image is not loading because it's not able to retrieve the image or either it's not able to store the image uh, but that's that's not a concern that we want to find out if we can extract any uh, sensitive information we can launch any uh, like you know attacks 
uh, using this so let's try to uh, do one thing I'm gonna add a sentence here which is echo and remote and we actually want to see so this is sort of like you know a debugging we want to do so I'm gonna save this uh, clear okay and let's go back to our uh, application and let's try to put the same uh, actually not this one sorry uh, yeah let's copy this image link and submit here okay so as you can see when we pasted this image uh, we are getting some sort of data this is like junk data none of our use but how about if I say all right so as you can see because of this injection like okay so this file system has some like you know a username password stored uh, of course we would have not been able to access it uh, if we did not have like you know found this vulnerability server side request forgery so using this vulnerability we were actually able to read the content which is hosted inside the server same thing you can use the same uh, like you know system and say okay uh, let's see uh, 192.168.138.120 Eight, sorry and that's 22 and let's see if it's able to connect no it's not able to connect that means maybe the port 22 is not open on this server and we can again like you can run the end map and confirm that but yeah the, the goal of this attack is once you find some vulnerability you can either try to attack the remote host or the host which is like itself where the application is hosted or other host which application has access to so that's the thing you can do with this and, and as I said like you know there are different payloads that you can use and uh, you can try depending on what vulnerabilities did you find uh, so, so try it out like this is this is going to be a very interesting attack and uh, there are so many uh, like you know demo sites out there where you can find these attacks so do practice it let me know if you if you get stuck anywhere if you need any help uh, but yeah, uh, this is something that uh, you should definitely know. That's it for this week. Uh, please hit the thumbs up button if you like this video. Share share with everyone and, and uh, do like on the uh, our Facebook page, Cybersecurity TV. And uh, I'll see you guys next week. Bye.